Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Find the matrix adjoint to A, and we have matrix A right here. So to do this, we're going to be replacing every single component here in here, the 1, 3, 4, 2, 4, 1, with their, their respective cofactors. So how do you find their cofactors? Well, let's say we're working with the 1 right here, then the top left corner, the 1. The first thing we do to find its cofactor is to write negative 1, and it's going to be to the power of 1 plus whatever column your tr the number is you're trying to find the cofactor of. So we're doing 1 right here in the top left. That's the first column, which means it's 1 plus 1. So that's the first part of finding the cofactor. Then you multiply it by the determinant you would get if you ignored the row here, this row, and the column right here. And the reason it's that row and column is because we're doing it respective to the number we're actually trying to do, the 1 here, the top left 1. So where the top left one is, we ignore its row and we ignore its column. What numbers are we left with? The four right here, the four, one, two, and a three. That's called the submatrix. And we're going to be finding its determinant and just putting it right here. So how do you find its determinant? You just multiply it like this, the four, multiply the three, subtract, so I'll just write that down, four, multiply three, subtract, then it's just one, multiply two, so two. And this would give you the determinant, respective to this number here, the top left one. Actually computing this out would just give us 12 subtract two, which is 10. And that, because this is negative one to the power of two, it just gets becomes positive one and doesn't matter. So now, now that we found that, we know that the first component in our joint matrix of A is going to be a positive 10. And we're going to keep doing this for every single number in matrix A to get the adjoint matrix. So for the next exa example, let's do the, just do the three here in the middle. So again, it's going to be negative one then it's going to be 1 plus whatever column you're working in. We're working in the middle column. That's the second one. So it's 1 plus 2. Then multiply the determinant respective to the 3 right here. So with this 3, let's ignore the row it's in right here, the 1, 3, and 4. Ignore that row and ignore this column, the column in the middle. What are you left with? You're left with the 2 over here, the 2, 1, and a 1, and a 3. So just try to imagine the 2, 1, and a 1, and a 3 find the determinant of this submatrix. Well, it's 2 times 3, subtract 1 times 1. So 6 subtract 1, or just 5. And that is the cofactor of 3. So what is this if you calculate it? Well, it's negative 1 to the power of 3. That's still a negative 1. So that means in the end, it's negative 5. Negative 5 is the middle term right here, or the middle component, I should say. So I'm going to do it for the next one, then I'll skip a few and work with the bottom one. So it's going to be negative 1. Let's do the 4 now, the, the um, top right number right here, the 4. So negative 1, 1 plus, now we're in the third column, 3, then multiply the determinants. Let's, let's ignore the row, sorry, the row right here, and the column. The submatrix is 2, 4, 1, and 2. So find the determinant. It's 2 times 2, subtract 4 times 1. So 4, subtract 4, that's just a 0. And Regardless of what this number over here would be, it's still a zero. So in the end, in the adjoint matrix down here, there's a zero in the top right. I should title this as the adjoint matrix. There we are. Or rather, I should probably title it a bit different because what we're finding right now is something a matrix called the cofactor of A. Using the something the transpose it's called of this right here, we can find the adjoint. But that we'll do that later on. So I'm just going to go through all these components here and fill in fill in this, this cofactor matrix. Sorry if I misled you before. Okay, so I've gone through all of the components here and got these as a result for our cofactor matrix. Now it's time to answer the question and find the adjoint matrix of A. The cofactor of A, just put that down there. If you take the transpose of it, it's equivalent to the adjoint of A. And that's what we're trying to find. So all we have to do is take the transpose of this matrix we just made by finding the cofactors of all the components. So how do you find the transpose? Well, you just, you focus on all of the columns here and you convert them into rows. So this column right here, the, or this 10, the negative one, and negative 13, make that into a row. It'll become 10, negative one, negative 13, and now it's a row. Then go to the next column, negative five, make that into a row. Negative five, negative one, and seven. Last one, zero, one, and negative two. And this here is our adjoint matrix of A. If you're watching, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.